another video. If you're new, hello, my name is Sheila. I'm happy to have you here today for a very wintry reading vlog. So this morning I woke up to pure magic winter wonderland. We got snow overnight and I've been waiting for snow all season since December really. Um, last year we had snow right before Christmas and I was sad we didn't have any snow in December so I was waiting and waiting and it was delivered today and I'm very very excited. I love snow. One of the things I love about winter and just living in a place that has seasons is the snowiness of the winter time. I was thinking about how if I somehow lived in a universe where you could bottle up feelings and put it in a jar and give it to somebody or sell it or something, I would want to bottle up the feeling of joy that I feel waking up to a snowy winter wonderland. So maybe one day 
we'll have that technology, but until then I can just express my feelings. But I'm very excited for our featured book for this reading vlog because I have finally started reading Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee, which is book three of the Green Bone Saga trilogy, and it's the final book. I've been reading it kind of like at a daily pace. Since Monday, I've been reading kind of like a few chapters every night before bed, and last night was probably my longest like sprint um, because it got pretty intense. I'm almost halfway through and we've hit kind of a climax of sorts um, or at least there's a lot of drama that has occurred and I was like oh, I can't go to bed yet I have to fi find out what happens so I got to a good stopping place and I'm excited to see where the next you know chapters take us. If you're not familiar with this series I have I think two other reading vlogs where I feature the previous books, so I'll link them down below and I explain more of the plot and summary and kind of theme of the book. But it is a fantasy book set in a mythical uh, Asian inspired empire and there are people who possess these jade superpower abilities. Basically jade is kind of like the creme de la creme, the like ultimate um, power that these certain individuals can have and book three is kind of going outside of that kind of community and culture into more of a global aspect and then we see how Jade is operating like at a global level so it's really really interesting. Books one and two really follow just the one island or country that is very very Jade influenced and it's like all part of their culture and everything and then book three is when we've kind of expanded into more of the world and seeing how jade is being used in different countries and cultures so it's really 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 interesting um highly recommend this entire series it's been a whirlwind and i'm very excited to finish also sad um so We'll be reading this. So I'm hoping to get a good chunk of reading done this weekend. It is Friday and I'm actually going to start a new part-time job in a little bit. So I, if you watch all of my videos, you know that I work as an archivist. That's like my full-time normal <laughs> daytime gig. My boss who works with me at the archives, she runs a lot of other kind of like archival historical institutions. She's a busy woman and she hired me on as a part-time person for a whole nother uh, historical society and I've done like some contract work for them before like consulting and just helping out with projects but now I'm gonna actually be on a consistent like <laughs> basis of going in um, on Fridays so I'm excited to expand my work as an archivist and also get some extra money if you watch my goal setting videos you know I'm on a debt-free journey I just paid off my car and this year I'm really focused on paying down my student loan debt so I'm excited to have more income coming in to help me on that path. And I think the last bit of news I wanted to just share in this intro is that I did move my desk space. I did a little rearranging in the living room, the main hub. After we took all the Christmas decorations down, I was just feeling kind of meh and moving things and rearranging furniture always gets me inspired. So that's what I did. I tried out a new layout. I moved my desk over by the window, which has been amazing. I loved having it over in this little area behind me with the whole like cozy corner but it was really hard to focus when I did have to do like work like for my archives job because there's like no light over there and even with like a lamp um it just wasn't doing it for me so now with having the desk directly by the window in the area the room that has more natural light I'm more excited to go to my desk and I feel like I get more stuff done I also have more space to lay out all of my like journals and notebooks and I've been able to get my markers and creative stuff kind of out there so another goal I'm working on is just cultivating my creativity and trying to do more drawing so I think having everything kind of laid out so I can just kind of walk over to my desk and it's there instead of having to like pull things out has been really inspiring and helpful for me and yeah i'm just really enjoying it over there so welcome to the winter reading vlog friends i'm actually going to pack my stuff up and head over to the archives luckily it's literally down the street so i don't have to have a large a long commute like my normal day job i think i'll take you over there for a little bit of that journey and then after that it's all it's all about reading friends I'm really excited to get a good chunk of this read over this weekend. So, welcome to the vlog, and let's head on over.
It has been a very relaxing Saturday. Such a good day so far. This morning I actually started to carve out my Spanish language learning plan, which is one of my top goals of this year is to just start to teach myself Spanish and try to learn Spanish as best as I can. So I spent some time really just kind of figuring out like how my language plan is going to be. And then George and I ran some errands and went to Target and got our grocery shopping done. It was very, very busy at the, at the store, but at least we are done and I don't have to go outside ever again, <laughs> at least until Monday or Tuesday. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to get freezing rain and it's going to be cold and with the snow it's just going to be super icy and i don't want to go outside unless i absolutely want to so i'm planning to hunker down tonight and tomorrow and that just means that i can do a lot of reading so the exciting thing that also happened today is that my book of the month box came and i wanted to share two of the books that i got so the first book was actually a pick for this month january made my selections and i went for fiona and jane by jean chen ho so this is a collection of short stories that chronicle the lives of fiona and jane who are two taiwanese American women. The stories explore their friendship and sexuality and hardships and this just their lives growing up over the span of two decades. Reading books by Asian American authors about Asian Americans and the Asian American experience always helped me connect more with my culture and just my identity and it helps me heal every time I read a memoir or some kind of book that explores what it means to be Asian American, I heal a lot of little wounds within myself. And I haven't read a book that was really centered on kind of like the experience and healing for me in a little while because of fall and holidays and taking some time away because that work can be draining at times. So I thought this, this book actually just came out, I think this month. So it's a new release and I wanted to pick it up and get back into connecting with my heritage and other Asian American women. I actually just started reading this. I read the first uh, short story, the first chapter called The Night Market, which followed um, Jane and something that happened between her and her family and her father. It feels very, it just hits, it just hits. So I'm really excited to continue reading these stories and learn more about Fiona and Jane and their stories. The other book was an add-on. So if you are not familiar with Book of the Month, this is actually my second box. I just signed up for them in December. So every month you get one pick and they release five new books and you get to select one, but you can also add on books for a reduced rate into your order so i was like okay i'm feeling i feel like doing some more book shopping and for my add-on i actually went with beautiful country by Qian julie wang which is a memoir about Qian, who is a chinese immigrant and she came to the united states when she was seven years old with her parents and follows her journey and Again, another book to help me connect with my culture and heal. Really excited for this one. I've been wanting to get this book and read it for a while since it came out, but I just haven't had the, I wasn't in the right mindset to do it because again, this work, this is work for me reading these kind of books, but also rewarding. So this I'm also excited to read. So with that said, I thought I'd re also report on how far I've gotten in Jade Legacy. I am officially halfway through. I'm at the 350 page mark and there's 700 pages, I believe, <laughs> in this book. And I think I read a close, I think, yeah, I read exactly like 50 pages or so yesterday. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of this evening is go in between <laughs> these two books. My goal is to finish it by the end of next week. Um, and I think while I start this, I should be able to hit my January reading goal, which is four books for the month. Cause I have, at this point, I wanna read Jade Legacy. I also want to read A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw, which was my December book of the month pick. 
and haven't started reading it yet, although I'm very, very excited to read this. I also want to read Fiona and Jane, and then another book that I want to read this month, just because it's very uh, timely <laughs> and thematic with winter, is The Arctic Fury by Greer McAllister. I got this book over a year ago and have never read it. I wanted to read it last winter and just wasn't in the mood to read it. So I'm very excited to try and read it this month. So really, these books make up my January TBR. So hopefully we get through it. There's three weeks left in the month, so I'm fairly confident if I stick with my you know, daily reading before bed and doing some longer sprints on the weekend, I should be able to finish all of these and then I think next month will be I'll start reading Beautiful Country and there's another book I want to read called The Tiger Mom's Tale by Lin Liao Butler so that might end up on my docket for February because Lunar New Year is coming up so I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea sit on the couch and do some more reading sprints so let's hop to it friends <laughs> apologetic about this lighting but it is now Monday I didn't really vlog at all <laughs> yesterday as you saw it was a very uneventful day of rainy and dreariness and literally just sitting on the couch all day but I did get a ton of reading done and all together I read 229 pages of Jade Legacy I'm up to page 533 we're nearing the end friends we're nearing how much left I have. I'm very proud of myself for this much progress for a book of this magnitude in one week. So very, very confident I will finish this in the next few days. It's been getting kind of crazy. I will say I haven't really talked much about my thoughts on this book because I wanted to kind of read more before I could really speak to it. So I feel like now that we're getting towards the end, I feel like I have somewhat of a summary I guess or my feelings of it and the first thing that comes to mind is it's definitely not my favorite of the three <laughs> at this point uh the second one Jade War is my absolute favorite book I'm pretty sure I gave that book a five out of five stars uh, because book one really you were like getting introduced to the characters and it was a lot of like just setting the foundation and book two is where a lot of shit went down and it was insane and my thing with this book is that it jumps ahead in time so much like within just this book alone I think we've jumped like 20 years like 
one chapter will be, you know, everyone will be this age and then the next chapter it'll be like five years later or like 10 years later. And at this point, like Andon is like 38 and we got introduced to him as like a teenager in the first series, in the first few books. And Hilo is, he, we introduced to him at like age 25 and he's like 45 now. So it's just like a very long timeline of, of their lives scrunched into 700 pages so I don't know I understand that Funnily had to get a lot of stuff into one book um, but I could see this book the series being drawn out into way more books that I would have gladly read for like a shorter you know timeline of the stories but we take what we can get. I also feel like there were parts that were kind of dragging and a little bit boring for me and it was giving me flashbacks when I was reading the first book when I was dipping my toes into fantasy and because when I first read the series didn't really read any fantasy the only fantasy I had read at that point was Game of Thrones the first book and that was really hard for me <laughs> to read. There's a lot of p political talk so those parts are always boring to me, um, but I like the like relationship and emotional parts. Those were like my favorite parts. So there's definitely a lot of that, but there are just some parts that kind of, I have to like really focus on it and it's not kind of like a flowy uh, read for me. Overall, I'm excited to see how the book ends, but also kind of scared. Nobody has really, I don't want to spoil anything at this point, but nothing bad has happened where I feel so, where I feel distraught. There definitely have been some moments where I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened, but nothing as intense as books one and two. So I don't know if Fonda Lee is going to throw me for a curveball in these last couple hundred pages, but I don't know, I'm strapped in, ready, <laughs> ready for the conclusion. So unfortunately, you won't see me finish this book. I think I'll try and talk about it in my next reading vlog. I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it on Instagram. I don't know, um, <laughs> let me know if you want to hear my thoughts and maybe that'll make me more motivated to actually film something. So thank you so much for coming along for this winter reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed the snow. All the snow has pretty much melted at this point because of all the rain we got yesterday, so that's sad, but I shall wait for our next snowstorm. <sighs> With that said, I will catch you in the next video. Bye!